It's Friday, October 29th. I'm Natalie Del Conte, and it's time to get loaded. Google is pulling the plug on Goog 411. This was the voice powered directory assistance that let you find businesses in the US and Canada. Google was using this to better learn speech to text, but now the company says it wants to focus on its mobile search apps that also allows for voice searching. Goog 411 will shut down on November 12th. Facebook launched something called Friendship Pages. It lets you see the interaction between yourself and individual friends or between two friends. For instance, what are the posts from wall to wall, the events responded to, the photos with both people. The pages are live but not accessible to everyone yet. Also, I'm not sure this is a healthy way to stick your nose into other people's business. If you're planning on getting a Windows Phone 7, you'll be able to read your Kindle books on it. Amazon has announced that it will have a mobile Kindle app for Windows Phone 7 that will let you read your books and sync your places across devices. Amazon already does have Kindle apps for Android, Blackberry, and iPhone. Twitter has also announced Windows Phone 7 Client. It has all the Twitter functions, timelines, suggested users, lists, etc. It's available now. And T-Mobile's first 4G phone will hit shelves November 3rd. That's next Wednesday. The MyTouch 4G uses HSPA Plus 14.4 networking, which gives speeds of up to 7 megabits per second. That's fast, as fast as your home DSL in some cases. The phone also has Wi-Fi video chat, a front-facing 5 megapixel camera, 720p video capture, and a 1 gigahertz Snapdragon processor. It costs $199 after a $50 mail-in rebate. And Flickr has gone open ID. This means you'll be able to log into Flickr with your online ID from other companies. For starters, this only works with Google, so you can log into Flickr with your Google account. Surely Facebook and other mail clients are close behind. Those are your headlines for today, and that wraps up your week of getting loaded. I'll see you on Monday. Have a great weekend. I'm Natalie Del Conte for CNET.com, and you've just been loaded.